surprised to see me? <laughs> yes, yes, the shock and awe of a human. What is this creature before me? How can she exist? And what does she want with me? <laughs> well, my dear, allow me to explain. I am a Lamia. We resemble humans enough. Some humans suggest that Lamias are just as intelligent as humans. As capable of speech and social formations as them. A ridiculous notion. Really, your intelligence pales in comparison to ours. Nevertheless, we do look like you, to a point. Ah, uh, but you can't help but notice the rest of me, can you? That not-so-human half. Your eyes can't resist, but stare at my lovely purple scales. Yes. They are quite alluring, aren't they? But, try to keep eye contact with me, human. It will be well worth it, I promise you. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, why I am here. I'm sure you've noticed, but my kind don't exactly walk the streets of your human cities and towns. Well, slither, in our case. <laughs> you see, we Lamias don't like those places. Too busy, too noisy, and too many humans. Far too many. We don't dislike humans in moderation. But places like this, with hundreds, no, thousands of humans crawling all over the place. No, thank you. But why then am I here? Well, when I said we don't dislike humans, that was perhaps an understatement. Lamias don't just like humans, we love them. They are our favorite. Nothing in our homelands compares to humans. When a human stumbles across the abode of a Lamia, it will surely be an unforgettable experience. For us, I should say. Human minds can be a little bit... breakable. When put under the kind of pressure we can subject you to. Uh, but I've gone and gotten myself quite distracted, haven't I? Why am I here, yes? I was just about to tell you. It can get quite boring out in the depths of wilderness. Places so isolated. We know our chances of some hapless human wandering across our paths are well. Slim to none. And what happens to those lamias when they find themselves longing for the fun that only a human can provide. Well, we go hunting, of course. Mm. And hunting for humans is just so very fun. Quite different from any other animal. It's not hard to find one, after all. The whole world is buzzing with them. The joys of hunting a human lies in their own heads. You see, 
Just because humans can understand language doesn't mean they're actually intelligent. Indeed, words can paralyze a human easily enough if they're in the right tone. That soft, gentle voice soothing them. Even if I speak of bringing about their doom. Mm. And there's that face that I enjoy so very much. The face you make when you realize that I'm not simply talking about some past hunt, some generic human. No, I'm talking about you. And now... You're wondering why I haven't done the slightest thing to restrain you. She has all of these coils. I'm sure she could bind me up in seconds. Rest assured, my dear. I can. And I will. But it's always hard to tell with humans what is really going on in their heads. That thought should bring some fear into your head, but perhaps it makes you feel excited. The thought of my body swirling around yours, restraining you like that. I suppose I can understand what you might like in that. But my coils aren't my primary weapon. They aren't what I use to catch humans. Remember when I told you eye contact would be well worth it? Well, thank you for being so very polite, my dear. That's it, darling. Keep your eyes on me. Just so perfect. Feeling that warm relaxation flow over your body. A nice, gentle buzz in your brain. A lovely little hum in your head. Let all those pesky little thoughts fade away. One by one. Lost in that delightful hum. You don't need those thoughts. Just let them go. I can do all of your thinking for you. With your mind all addled like that, you can feel your body growing more and more weak. Can't you? Your body is relaxing just as your mind is. Don't worry, my dear. I can take care of your body just as easily as I can take care of your mind. Now, don't be alarmed. I'm going to coil around you. For your sake, of course. That's it. No need to struggle. Your arms feel so heavy. Your legs are so limp. It would take so much effort to even try to push my coils off of your body. Not to mention what a futile effort it would be. As if your body could ever hope to stop mine. <laughs> but why would you even want to fight it's impossible to consider fighting these very soft scales pressing against your skin. So smooth, so gentle, but oh, so powerful. They are muscles after all, flexing against your form, winding around you, binding you. But you don't mind being bound by me. 
You trust me completely with your thoughts, with your body, with your entire mind. As my coils wind further and further up your body, you can feel those last few scattered thoughts slipping away. One by one, lost. As my tail rises around your shoulders, as they brush up against your neck, exerting just the slightest bit of pressure on it. My, my, that was quicker than I expected. Much quicker. You must have really enjoyed that. But I can't fault you. It's a lovely experience, isn't it? Being hypnotized and coiled by a labia. There is one question I'm sure you had when I mentioned labia school hunting. What do we do with the humans we catch? Well, for some, the thrill of the catch is enough for Lamia. The sport of it, you know. Others end their hunts by making a meal of their prey. And then, of course, there are the ones who choose to keep the humans in this hypnotized state forever, keeping them as thralls. I'm sure you would enjoy that, wouldn't you? Which do I do? Trust me, <laughs> you're about to find 